is the last section from the exam and we're talking about all about trigonometry here. So we're looking at Pythagoras theorem and we're looking at sine, cos and tan. Question eight here, the first part, we'll be looking at Pythagoras theorem and we're told to use Pythagoras theorem to find the value of H, perpendicular height of this isosceles triangle shown in the diagram below. How are we going to do this? But well, it's telling us to use Pythagoras theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we want to look out for a right angle. A right angle triangle is how we use Pythagoras theorem. Well, we were told that this is the perpendicular height, meaning this is the right angle here. If we just use this triangle, we're going to forget about, forget about the other side. What is C? C is the hypotenuse. And so C is going to be eight. And then we'll call that one A and that one B. It doesn't matter which one you call A and B as long as C is the hypotenuse. And so we're going to have H squared plus five squared equals eight squared. H squared plus 25 equals 64. I'm going to bring 25 over and I'm going to take 64 away from it. I'm going to H squared equals 39. And then H equals the square root of 39, which is approximately... 6.24 or 6.2, correct to one decimal place. That's how we're using Pythagoras theorem. Label your sides A, B, and C, and then sub into the formula. What about here? Using the measurements given on the diagram above, find the length of the side A, B to the nearest meter. This one has a bit more going on. First things first, we're not really going to be able to find AB by itself because that's part of this triangle here, which doesn't have a right angle. We don't know how to kind of find sides in a non-right angle triangle. However, we can find AT and then we can find BT and then we can take the two away. So that's what we're going to do. How would we find AT? AT, well, we're going to use sine, cos and tan and we're going to label our sides. In terms of this angle, well, the hypotenuse is going to be this one over here, which we don't really care about. This is going to be opposite, and this side here is going to be adjacent. So we're, we care about opposite and adjacent. Toa, we're going to use tan. And so it'd be tan 35 equals opposite 17 over adjacent, which I will just call x. And so now I'm going to have x tan 35 equals 17, x equals 17 over tan 35, which is approximately, and I'll go like two decimal places here, 24.28. So that whole thing is 24.28. What if we wanted to find the side A or B T? So this little bit left over in here. Well, then we're just going to do the exact same, but we're going to say tan of 50. And that would be 17 over X. And so then X is going to be 17 over tan 50. Plug that into your calculator. You get 14.26. And now to find that bit left over AB, we're just going to subtract um, to the nearest meter. We're going to get 10 meters. Hopefully that's kind of making sense. How do we use sine, cos, and tan or Sokotoa? You're going to label your sides adjacent, hypotenuse, and opposite, depending on which way, where the angle is. And then you're going to pick out which one you're using, sine, cos, or tan, based on Sakatoa. Then you just sub into the formula, and you can find your sides or your angles.